Hey, folks, Brian Blessing in Las Vegas, wishing everybody a very happy Thanksgiving, and we're talking Thanksgiving football right here at ATS.io, and what is always a tradition, a football game at Jerry's World, and it's the big rivalry game. Washington is at Dallas, and, you know, this was a game, uh, the, the number was like, you know, more in the one, one and a half range, and look, at Dallas gets a win in Minnesota. Now we're seeing the Cowboys, a three-point favorite. Total in the game is 47 and a half. And, you know, for the Cowboys, big difference, Andy Dalton came back. They get the W over Minnesota. And Ezekiel Elliott played with a real sense of purpose in that game. You know, they've got the star power. They've just been completely out of sorts. And we know the defense has been a disaster. But Dalton kind of a steadying influence. And the ridiculous thing is, in this NFC East, Dallas is right there. They got a shot to win the division. You know, whoever wins this division is going to have a horrible record. But the bottom line is they get in the playoffs. Maybe they can pull off an upset. But Dallas now in welcomes their big rivals, Washington, to town. And, again, C.D. Lamb had a good game against the Vikings. And Dallas's defense did play significantly better. Yet this is still a flawed defensive unit. As for Washington, it's a great story. Alex Smith back in the lineup, comes all the way back from that horrific leg injury. Uh, just happy to see the guy walking normally, let alone playing NFL football. It's a remarkable story. They beat Cincinnati 20-9. to The irony is, man alive, I mean, you know, you know, here's Alex Smith watching the horrific injury that Joe Burrow suffered in that game. Uh, Cincinnati, you know, they just really lost all shot in that game at that point. But this is a Washington team. They're starting to get a decent game out of their running backs. First of all, Antonio Gibson really started to take it to the next level. 16 carries, 94 yards, and a touchdown. And McKissick, by the way, is a real nice supplemental part, kind of their third down back, and he's very dangerous out of the backfield. McLaurin's a good, good wide receiver. So as awful as the NFC East has been, this projects to be a pretty good football game. Um, and the total at 47 and a half, I still can't get away from, you know, what Dallas's defense seems to be capable of, maybe turning a slight corner. But I think Washington's going to put up some points, and I think Dalton's a steadying influence, and the Stars finally showed up. I think you might get some points here uh, in this game. It's a big one. It's a big one in the NFC East. Hard to say a big game, but it is a big game within the confines of the NFC East. I think you get some points out of the deal. I think it'll be interesting. Washington and Dallas. Always glad to be with you at ATS.io. Always love joining our buddy Adam Burke on his podcast each and every Tuesday. Wishing you again a very happy Thanksgiving as this is the meat, the meat game, right? Right in the middle uh, before we get the big night game. Uh, should be a fun one from Dallas.